So I'm Ehtisham Hawk. I'm standing as an independent candidate in Poplar and Lamb House. Um, I was a councillor in that very area from 2018 to 2022 and my track record is mostly campaigning on equalities issues. I, I felt um, that the need to ultimately work towards uh, finding an environment where we all can live in equal dignity and, and my experience of the society, uh, personal experience plus the other people that I've seen, it's clearly institutional racism and equalities of opportunities uh, are just on paper. I'll give you one example. Uh, Bangladeshis are the largest um, ethnic uh, sort of uh, population in, in, in my constituency and also within Tower Hamlets, but they're not a data point. So we're like 34-35% uh, of the total population in there. Uh, but the, none of the councils report ultimately um, factored that as Bangladeshi. They just put them in a lump sum, BAME, Black and Minority Ethnic. And that doesn't necessarily look in, in, in depth into the uniqueness of uh, the British Bangladeshi community there. Now that's, that's institutional. If you're not even recognising them at a data point, you've got 35% population from one ethnicity. That's just one example. Which obviously then uh, the other bit is definitely when you are speaking up, even from a deprived background and you're, how dare you are speaking up. So you will, you will face persecution and uh, bias and racism on a different level. Like the everyday racism you can see on the street, but in institutions, let's say in political parties or in corporate bureaucracy, it's, it's more subtle. Uh, and, and that's very difficult to express or to deal with. I mean, my life is an example. Um, I became a misfit in politics and my personal life has been made a political football uh, from the left wing and right wing within the Labour Party. And I was like, in one hand, I'm one of the founder of Jeremy Corbyn's movement. Then again, I've been made right winger, then I've been made, you know, so it's complex. In Poplar and Limehouse, uh, I believe the biggest issue is inequality. If you look at, uh, we have the financial district of Western Europe in Canary Wharf, 35 billion pounds economic productivity. But at the same time, on the other side of the road, you have immense deprivation, one of the highest rate of child poverty. So what politics has failed is really transfer the wealth or negotiate with the big companies to say that do you not feel sorry or ashamed or do you not feel any responsibility? If right leaderships are there, then questions should be posed to JP Morgan, to Barclays, to many companies out there and say that look, here are the issues just next to you and you could and you should uh, really collaborate with us, collaborate with local government, central government, because the issues are going to, always going to be there from the bigger pot, central government can't give money, etc, etc. Okay, so I'm a lone wolf uh, as an independent candidate and I'm up against a massive machine and obviously under, under his scrutiny, like Labour Party, I'm fighting. And, and, and there is a lot of deception goes on in, in, in politics, like obviously locally, the representative is, is, is deemed as sort of um, you know, Islamic and uh, obviously representative of the left wing of the party. Uh, but behind the closed door, there are good understanding between Angela Reyna, Keir Starmer and others. Uh, so my, my, my goal is to make politics more transparent. And of course, through this, like I've been silent for um, last three years after, after something that I was not part of. I was a third party to some, some proceedings and uh, then I've been just completely scapegoated and which benefited various political factions. Mm -hmm. And I suffered for three years to, I don't know what to do. Like I'm, I've never been investigated, I'm never in court, nowhere like I'm, have, I'm being given an opportunity to um, defend myself. But I'm, I'm like my political career, my confidence in, in society was completely destroyed. So I thought I could either uh, remain silent for the rest of my life and where I could, I could uh, speak up. Keir Starmer is, is, is part of the process rather than the 
the the leader of the process. You know, right? he is not leading the process; the process leading him. So the institutions in this country, uh, what are their priorities, and how much uh, freedom they will allow the next prime minister of this country it, it is the question to, to ask. I'll, I'll make sure I fight for better housing. I'll make sure that we have uh, more police to, to reduce antisocial behaviour and crime. And, and most importantly, I'll make sure that we can live uh, in dignity and with equality in Poplar and Limehouse and the wealth that is out there is transferred to help us.